Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 57. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. All right, so we are here with the GT Championship of Japan. Oh my god, I can't speak. Uh, and this is where we get to take our three cars. These are now technically the highest class that we've taken so far. Um, and yeah, these are all regional events. So um, we're going to start with Maple Valley, move on to Nissan Speedway, Road Atlanta, finishing off with Suzuka. Let's get going. All right, here we go. First race. Oh my God. That uh, horn was very loud. I think the gameplay audio is a bit too loud as well for me. But oh well. Uh, I've made contact, which is uh, never a good thing to happen. Yo, Orbit, what's up? Welcome. How are you today? This car's actually surprisingly fairly planted. The only problem is I am not going to be able to get a thumbnail out of this race now because uh, the car is destroyed. I mean, it looks like a dead duck, let's be honest. <laughs> oh! looking too bad. I'm very much excited to um, finish this game. Whoa. Lost control of the car there. Didn't spin out though, so we're good. All I want to do is drive home to you, baby. Not too bad. We're actually a little more, a uh, little bit more stable around the circuit at the moment. Not too bad. I got some uh, voice lines I've got to actually record for um, an updated Forza Mega Series intro. Because uh, my first one was a little bit crappy, so I'm going to replace it with a different one. Obviously, delete that video, get a new one. Um, but yeah, the, literally, the introduction is only there to... Um, what's it called? Introduce people, so it doesn't need to be in chronological order. And to be honest, with how YouTube formats videos now, um, none of the YouTube videos pretty much are in chronological order on the videos page no more. It's just an absolute jumble of a mess. So pretty much I just have to rely on playlists to make sure it stays somewhat tidy. I'm not going to lie, I thought this was a Swedish House Mafia song, and then I realised the beat was going on for way too long. I was like, that's not right. Mm 
Oh, much better. I can hear. You can see that from my actions. Ah. If anyone knows what game this song was featured in, then you're a legend. Not too bad. It's definitely going to be more enjoyable um, getting to the later end of this series. Only because of the fact we get to mix in uh, Horizon into the mix. So we'll end up having a short Horizon break before going back into like the longer motorsport games. Because the motorsport games are longer. There's a lot more in it. It made people wild out. Oh, nice slide. Got to keep it going. You can see that from my actions. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Vibe out, vibe out. Hey, hey. I'm gonna have to get rid of this hoodie. It's actually quite warm. Keep it going, 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 going. Gotta keep a wave. Said I'm looking for a party. A. That's gone horribly wrong. Hit the inside of that corner there. Which is not ideal. Yo, Wolfie, what's up? Welcome. How are you doing today? A bit wide. What is this? I recognize this song. Absolutely true. I don't recognize it. Kind of strange. Not bad. Hmm. 
And there we go, across the line. Result. I will take that and we'll move on to the next one. All right, here we go. It is time for the Nissan Speedway. Yeah, so all my YouTube, uh, underneath all the YouTube videos now, um, there is a merch shelf, a merchandise shelf, it's called, uh, which is awesome. So you can now buy my merch straight through YouTube, which is just an awesome feature. Um... So if you do want to cop yourself some cool merch, check that panel below the YouTube. Or if you're watching on Twitch, check it in the About panel. Uh, I found the first three WRC games on Swedish eBay. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Um, I know that... Um, I've obviously got the three WRC games um, on disc. 1, 2, and 3 were, like, their own downloads. And then 4, 5, and 6, even though they were discs, they were Steam versions. So, pretty much, I don't trust buying any game if it's got a Steam logo on it. Because a lot of the time, Steam still requires you to put in a code each time. Which is one use. I genuinely don't understand, though, why we're driving cars like these around an oval like this. Yeah, four and up, I'd recommend buying on Steam. Um, if you're looking to buy all of them for the collection, take a look in my About panel. There's a website called Enaba. Bloody brilliant. They've got, like, all of the WRC games other than 10. They have on there for under £10. Which is a bloody brilliant price, because even though they go on sale quite a bit, um, the prices on Enaba are still cheaper than Steam sale prices, so it's definitely worth looking into getting them over there. Mm -hmm. And if you buy stuff through Enaba, it also helps support the channel as well, so it's a win-win. I need to for the um, Motorsport 3 series. For Motorsport 3 onwards, um, I'm going to actually add the Enaba link into the YouTube descriptions. And I'm also going to change up the um, live on Twitch page as well. Not too bad. Boo, 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 boo. Yep. It is cheap. Oh, that's not ideal. 
I mean, I specifically went onto Enaba to buy WRC9 um, to pretty much complete my collection because I had bought. I bought WRC 4, 5, and 6 as the Steam bundle, because this was before I knew about Enabar. Um, WRC 8, I had also bought, um, but I didn't have 7, 9, or 10. So I bought all three of those through Enabar, and for the three of the games, it came to about £25 for all three games. Like, the one that took up the most, I think WRC 10 was 15, 16 quid when I bought it. Maybe 17. Um, WRC 8... Uh, sorry, WRC 9 was, like, £7 for the deluxe edition with all the extra content. And WRC 7 was about £2 or something like that. So... I mean, even then... Sometimes it's cheaper to buy the base game on Enova and get the extra content through Steam. Obviously, it, sometimes it's mix and match because there are some games where the deluxe version isn't much of a savings on that site, but the standard one is extremely cheap, so it all depends. But don't worry, Wolfie, because I am also said idiot, and I do do the same thing. So. Yeah, so sometimes it... I mean, on Steam, normally it's not that price. But yeah, sometimes the sales can be cheaper. But All right, here we go. Uh, Road Atlanta now. Meow. Not bad. Oh, what the hell? Another collision. I might just have to take a photo of the rear of the car for this, because... Ah, uh, let me see you shake your boots. Come back to the old school. Back to your roots. Now that's how it's done. That's how you drift. I think actually the uh, music needs to be turned up a tad. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, God. Let me get a heart stopping monster. Be right back. Sounds like a plan. Let me see you shake in your boots. Come back to the old school. Back to your roots. Do you know, I haven't drunk an energy drink in over, in over like, three months now. Like, genuinely, I just have it as, like, because I fancy one. I fancy the flavor at this point. Because there's no, there's no normal drink 
that does a Red Bull flavoured drink. So, to actually enjoy a Red Bull flavoured drink, you have to drink Red Bull. So, I wouldn't mind if Red Bull did a drink that didn't have all the energy drink stuff in it. Where it, it was just like, okay, sugar's fine. But, like, if they just had, like, sugar, sweetener, and the Red Bull flavor, I would buy that. Even if it was, like, £2.50 a bottle for a 2-litre bottle. That'd be a good idea. Boots come back to the old school, back to your roots. Not bad. I'm actually quite excited um, to get get on the road. I think it'd be fun. I'm hoping that I pass in August. August the 24th is my uh, test date. So, uh, probably by the time this video comes out, it's going to be close to my driving test date. So yeah, we're going to be looking at 72 episodes for this entire series. Um, so the final episode will be episode 72. Which seems pretty good. It looks good. Do 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 do. <laughs> I don't know why, but this Snakebite song by Flavor D keeps coming up on my recommended. Now, I like Flavor D songs. They obviously made that, um, I think it's a woman actually. I'm not 100% sure, though. So I'm going to use the word they. Just to make sure I don't upset somebody. In this very woke world that we're in. Um, yeah, but they... They made that Bandicoot song. On... Uh, Forza Horizon 5. That's sort of how I've heard of them. And obviously... This one song is just constantly coming up on my recommended to the point like I'm listening to any drum and bass song and like Flavor D comes on two songs later and it's Snake Bite to the point I'm actually a little bored of the song it's a really good song though don't get me wrong but god it's always coming on that's what she said I've been watching way too much of The Office. <laughs> the Office US is... I don't know if it's underrated. Because it's definitely a good show. But it, it, it's funny. It's not even like ha 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 funny like comedy. It's just dumb shit funny.
But like, ugh. It's one of the few American shows that I can actually watch and be like, hmm, yeah. I can enjoy this. Holding on for some type of miracle. I'll be right there if you're ever alone. Not bad. Come on, car. You're slow. That's what she said. It's not what she said, but okay. <laughs> Scared that the sun won't shine on. Yeah, Baccarino. Woohoo! Welcome back, Wolfie. Little bit of a corner cut there. Not bad. Wee wee. Ow. Do 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 do. Nice. There we go, result. All right, here we go. Suzuka, five laps. Does that, uh... That carousel doesn't actually move, does it? Oh, come on. Yo, Fallen, what is up? Welcome. Sir Bitchington the Third. I love that title. That is a cool title. I will take that. My name is... Can I change it to Lord Bitchington? I prefer Lord Bitchington, if I can go with that one. Oh, you bastard. Get the fuck out of here. There we go. Hackers. I don't know why, but I associate this song with Horizon 4 just because I've played it so much through Spotify. While playing Horizon 4. Of course, uh, Lord Bitchington it is then. <laughs> Let's go. Boo, 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 boo. Good day to you, Lord Bitchington. How are you today, sir? <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, uh, it's brilliant. We are uh, 17 followers away from hitting our follower goal. And uh, being able to gift three subs to the chat. But we're also two subs away from another gifted sub. Whoa. Uh, stream's going all right today, actually. Just uh, chilling, having fun, and vibing. Whoa. Oh, 
Oh, this is chasing status. Let's go. Alex, what is up? How are you today? Welcome to the shit show. Blinded by the lie. Whoa! Carry on. To be perfectly honest, I don't like this car around this track. They're not communicating or cooperating very well. High off the ground. Not bad. Ah, right, cheers for that, dickhead. I'm fading away. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh -uh. <laughs> You're missing an L. Yeah, uh, chances of Alex being free feet at the same time as you fallen is slim. Because Alex likes to go to sleep way too early because he's a, basically a giant man, baby. Goes to sleep at like half ten. Which is pretty much the same time that you finish your work. So, yeah, giant man, baby, needs to sleep. Yeah, yeah. Lost and not found. Maybe Mech can help since he's in the same time zone. Well, there's no point asking me for help if I'm sh <laughs> make shit Twitch content, you know? No point asking me. I mean, you haven't really asked, so... I'm not fucking telepathic. Is that even the word? I'm not a fucking mind reader. Nah, he won't stay up for an extra hour. Chance of that happening is slim to none. The amount of times I've gotten into a call with him later at night and saying like, oh, stay up for an extra five minutes and he just fucking falls asleep. You moron. Not found. Yeah, yeah. Ah, ah. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Which is seven hours behind us. Yeah, so seven in seven hours for us, uh, it will be two in the morning. In fact, yeah. It'll be two in the morning. Do you remember that? Your feet would touch that ceiling. Oh, Alex, you're free Saturday. Are you going to be joining us for our Forza cruise then? Or did you uninstall Forza? Put your pride up on my shelf. Put your hands up. Put your, put your hands up.
This, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, is a song from uh, Forza Horizon 3, I believe. I believe it was Horizon 3 this was in. But it might have been Horizon 2. I know there was a Danny Bird song in Horizon 3 and a Danny Bird song in Horizon 2 from the same album, so... No one's calling anyone daddy in my chat. Fuck right off. It's fucking weird. Meow. What about crude? Not even crude. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, how are you today, Hans? Hopefully you're having a good day. I think society has ruined that term, to be honest. Not too bad. Why the hell did the car pull like that? Father, I have committed sin. Oh no, I understand. It's already a creepy term as it is. I understand how weird and creepy that word is. Especially in like a, a sexual context. It's like fucking... Ugh. Ugh. Is this a Tom Supra? It's the Tom Supra, it's Castrol, but it's, it's blue and red. Aww. I really wanted it to be the uh, white and green one. Ah. Oh wow, the Tom Supra is still pretty cool, so. I'll take it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.